गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू ऑल बी एस सी सेकेंड ईयर फिजिक्स साइंस स्टूडेंट्स एंड बी एस सी थर्ड ईयर फिजिक्स साइंस स्टूडेंट्स आप सेमिस्टर फोर्थ सेमिस्टर फिफ्थ एंड फ्रॉम सेमिस्टर सिक्स मीन्स ऑल सेकेंड ईयर एंड थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ फिजिक्स साइंस ऑल दीज स्टूडेंट्स द इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट्स दीज आर टू बी स्टडीड दीज आर टू बी सीन एंड दैट इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट दीज द स्टडी ऑफ डिफरेंट फिशिंग क्राफ्ट इन इंडिया दीज डिफरेंट फिशिंग क्राफ्ट दीज आर टू बी कैटेगराइज इन टू इनलैंड और मरीन वाटर फिशिंग क्राफ्ट और बोट्स इनलैंड फिशिंग क्राफ्ट और द मरीन वाटर फिशिंग क्राफ्ट these study of different fishing craft which is to be used in india in last few period we have seen that different types of boats different types of crafts are the ships these are to be used to capture the fishes from inland waters as well as from the marine waters inland water sources these are the rivers tributaries reservoirs and lakes and from the marine water sources that is the seas oceans and the delta areas where the depth is to be more and water spread area is to be maximum in these areas fishermen cannot done to catch collect the fishes by simple swimming or by simple raft but they can use a catamaran they can use a raft they can use a boats or ships to collect and to capture the fishes from the offshore waters from the away from the ocean or the bank of the water bodies now in this period we have see that study of fishing different types of craft in india that is inland or the marine water fishing crafts inland water fresh water fishing crafts are marine water fishing craft and in this inland water fishing crafts are marine water fishing crafts the important craft that is the dugout canoe dugout canoe this dugout canoe these are to be important and these are to be essential we have study this dugout canoes as a marine water and inland water fishing craft in this part dugout canoe is also called as non mechanized boats or the raft dugout canoe is also known as non mechanized crafts or boats these boats are popular these boats are popular in kerala these dugout canoes is to be popular in karnataka as well as it is also popular in konkan coast of india means this dugout canoes these are to be popular famous to capture the fishes from kerala karnataka and konkan area in indian regions these area this dugout canoes these are to be popular to capture the fishes from inland water as well as from the marine water it is non mechanized fishing crafts or the fishing boat this is non mechanized crafts used in india these boats are known by different names in a different areas these dugout canoes these are to be given names to different areas to different names which are different areas and different names different areas in different names such as odam Wanchi, Odam, Andhra Pradesh, Wanchi, Hodi, Thoni. According to the region of, in which region these are to be used, in which area this dugout canoes these are to be used to capture the fish in marine water as well as in fresh water. That is Odam, Wanchi, Hodi, Thoni. These are the different names according to their use, according to the area. the larger dugout canoe is called as odam the larger dugout canoe is called as odam or honchi and smaller size of dugout canoes smaller size of dugout canoes is called as the thonis means the larger dugout canoes which is to be used and operate different areas these larger dugout canoes is called as odam or it is also called as honchi and smaller dugout canoes is called as the thonis dugout canoe is a type of boat used in fish as well as non fish animal catching dugout canoe is to be used 
it is a boat type non mechanized and these are to be used to capture the fish as well as non fish organisms on east coast on west coast as well as also it is also used in inland waters inland waters such as rivers reservoirs lakes in these areas this dugout canoes these are to be used these are to be operated this type of boat that is dugout canoes is cheaply used to catch commercial fishes dugout canoes is the type of boat raft these are to be used cheaply to capture the fishes from commercial fisheries such as major carps exotic carps minnows or such as commercial fishes from the coastal areas sardine fishery mackerel fishery or the bombay duck fishery for that purpose these are dugout canoes these are to be used these are cut out of single log and are usually termed as dugout canoes these are to be cut out of single logs and are usually termed as dugout canoes the size of the canoes varies from about 3.5 meter to 14 meter in length the length varies the dugout canoes length is to be varies and what is the size of this dugout canoes the size of this dugout canoes is to be near about 3.5 meter to 14 meter in length the dugout canoes are used for fishing in rivers dugout canoes these are to be used for fishing in tributaries it is also used in backwaters and inshore waters of seas and oceans inshore waters of seas and oceans this dugout canoes these are to be used the most common timbers used for the construction of dugout canoes the most common timber which is to be used to construct the dugout canoes are the mangifera indica commonly it is to be called as a mango or the astrocarpus his hirusta astrocarpus hirusta it is called as anili or ani and chini and pinni these are the ani chini and pinni these are the different types of trees as well as these the different types of woods these are to be used to construct dugout canoes but famously and abundantly that is mangifera indica which is famous and which is to be used abundant scale to construct the dugout canoes a single log in a single wood tick this dugout canoes these are to be construct these are to be fabricated means mangifera indica is famous but astrocarpus hirusta ani chini and pinni these are the different trees it is also used to manufacture to construct the that is dugout canoes the most common timbers used for the construction of these dugout canoes in the mangifera indica a single log of trees are scooping single log of trees are scooping out the inner part of the wood for its construction the keel is thicker than its side portion keel that is bottom region bottom area of this dugout canoe is thicker than the side portion and to these keel portion single log single tree log this scooping of these dugout canoe is to be done and hence mangifera indica or astrocarpus hirusta ani chini pinni these are the varieties of the trees these are to be used to famous to construct to fabricate the raft that is the dugout canoes there are three types of dugout canoes are found and it is to be operated there are three types of dugout canoes these are to be found these are to be constructed and these are to be operated to operate the nets larger ones dugout canoes which is larger as the range of 12 to 14 meter 12 to 14 meter in length and this is a dugout canoe is called as odom larger dugout canoes these are to be larger size near about 12 to 14 meter in length and this larger type of dugout canoes is called as odom the medium size of dugout canoes which is to be medium in size has a range of 7 to 9 meter in length 7 to 9 meter in length such type of dugout canoes is called as the thonis smaller one type of dugout canoes smaller type of dugout canoes which is to be very smaller ones has a range of 6 to 7 meter 
length and this dugout canal is called as the bhupthoni it is called as bhupthoni in some area it is also called as donga in some area this smaller dugout canal is also called as donga 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 is a smaller boat or the smaller size of the dugout canal there they are propelled by paddles these dugout canals these are to be propelled by paddles and sails the sails are either square or split type no radar is to be used no radar is to be used in this dugout canals string is to be by means of big paddle on one quarter side string is to be by means of big paddle on one quarter side and on this dugout canals fishermen can operate the different types of nets or gears the larger dugout canals used for variety of nets operated with the help of this boat these boats are seines or these nets are the boat seines these nets are the pearl seines drag nets and the varieties of other nets on this larger dugout canals variety of nets these are to be operated these are to be used to capture the fishes but abundantly in these larger dugout canals boat seines pearl sein and drag net these are to be operated these are to be used to capture the fishes the smaller dugout canals are to be used and to operate the gill nets drift net and cast net those dugout canals which is to be smaller in size smaller in size in on this dugout canals the net these are to be operated net these are to be used these nets are the gill nets nets are drift net and cast net on this smaller type of dugout canals gill net drift net and cast net these are to be used these boats or these dugout canals are also used in malbar area these dugout canals are also used in malbar area it is also used in kathiwar area it is also used in ramanal and tanjore district ramanand and tanjore district of tamil nadu it is also used in gulf of koch means these dugout canals these are to be used abundantly in malbar area it is abundantly used in kathiwar area ramanand and tanjore district of tamil nadu these dugout canals these are to be used and dugout canals is also used in gulf of koch means in different areas malbar area kathiwar area ramanand area tanjore area and the gulf of koch this dugout canals these are to be used to operate inshore water as well as the offshore water but it is the non mechanized fishing craft no modernization these are to be occur it is the traditional fishing craft non mechanized traditional and specially it is to be used in small water bodies near the bank side near the coastal side of the water bodies that may be marine water or that may be fresh water this type of dugout canals these are to be used larger dugout canals is called as odam and smaller dugout canals is called as donga on this dugout canal those fishermen can operate the cast net operate the gill net that fisherman is called as odamwala it is called as odamwala the fisherman can operate the gates operate the nets or the gears on a craft it is called as odam hence it is called as odamwala odam is the name of craft wala being the local name of fisherman that is odamwala donga it is the smaller type of dugout canal and on this donga those fishermen can operate the nets it is called as donga wala odam wala donga wala these are wala being the name of the fishermen see the figure in this figure this is the figure that is dugout canals and this dugout canals which is to be observed in the area of malbar area in malbar area this dugout canals these are to be found this is the keel portion and this keel portion these are to be thick this keel portion these are to be thick as compared to the side portion as compared to the side portion this keel portion these are to be thick these are to be strong and side portion these are to be thin side portion these are to be thin which is to be observed in the figure that is odam wall odam it is the larger type of dugout canoe larger type of the boat dugout canoe is also a non mechanized boat or raft dugout canoes is also a non mechanized boats or raft these dugout canoes boats or raft is popular in kerala karnataka konkan coast of india this is non mechanized craft used in india these boats are known by different names in 
different areas such as Odom, Hwanchi, Thoni and Kudi and Thoni according to the region. The larger dugout canoe is called as Odom or Hwanchi, whereas smaller dugout canoe is called as Thonis. Dugout canoe is a type of boat used in fish as well as non-fish organisms on east coast as well as west coast. This type of boat is to be cheaply to capture, cheaply to capture the or collected the commercial fishes, commercial fisheries from the coastal water silos from the inland water. This type of boat, this type of craft, these are to be found. See the figure, larger boat, larger dugout canoe is called as Odom, which is the upper side. Odom is the, this is the upper side of the this boat. These upper size of boat, these are to be used. It is called as Odom. And the smaller type of boat, smaller dugout canoe is called as the Thonis or the, it is called as Thonis smaller. As compared to the upper, this smaller Thonis or the dugout canoe, these are to be constructed, fabricated by a single log of Mangifera indica or it is a constructed from the other trees, other trees but famously the Mangifera indica is the famous tree to construct the dugout canoe. Larger dugout canoes, odom, and smaller dugout canoes called as the thonies, which is to be observed. This smaller is to be seen in this figure. This is the thony, smaller size of dugout canoes, which is to be observed in the figure. Yes. See the figure. In this figure, this is the one wooden logs, which is the one wooden log. This is the one wooden log, and in this one wooden log. In this one wooden logs, these fishermen it can be fabricate construct the dugout canoes by inner side of this log these are to be cut down, broken down and removed and forms construct the craft it is called as dugout canoes and this dugout canoes these are to be constructed fabricated by the Mangifera indica here larger rocks in which this larger rocks this dugout canoes these are to be constructed. This is the side portion, this is the side portion and this is the bottom is the kill portion, bottom is the kill area, means bottom side is to be more thicker as compared to the side portion, as compared to the side portion and these fishermen, these are to be sit down in this area and it can operate keeping the net in this area and operate these raft, these catamarans forcefully by operating their power. That may be gill net, that may be cast net, that may be drag net, that may be trap net. For operating these nets, these dugout canoes, these are to be famous. Dugout canoes name, these are to be variable according to the area. Larger dugout canoes called as Odom and smaller dugout canoes called as Thoni or Wanches. Hope you have understood. This dugout canoe is the non mechanized inland as well as marine fishing craft which is to be used in inshore water near to the bank side of the water because it is non-mechanized and the fisherman itself it can be used while it can be used by radar it can be used by paddles these are to be moved and it is to be go from one part to the another part of the water bodies or another area that's why this dugout canoe is famous to capture the different fishes hope you understood any problem any difficulty please Ask any time. Thank you, all of you.